Hey Curious Kids, Kevin here. Today on a place called Space. Hold up. Where am I? I'm not in my office. I don't have all my cool Legos and inflatable planets. So I'm coming to you from a hotel room for the next couple weeks. So this is what we're going to be seeing for our episodes. Now, they're still going to be awesome. So today we are going to be talking about space shuttles. Yes, there were many space shuttles, multiple. They were actually having official names called the Space Transportation System, STS. Mm -hmm. So the space shuttles helped build the International Space Station, where all the astronauts are living right now, and also brought the Hubble Space Telescope into outer space so we can get all those pretty pictures of the planets and galaxies and moons that are up there. Now, how many space shuttles were actually built? Well, there were six space shuttles, but only five went into outer space. So the first one that was built was called Enterprise. Now, this one did not go into outer space. It was only used to test approaches and landings. Now, you can go and see this one. It's at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York. Now, let's talk about the space shuttles that actually went in to outer space. So two of them, unfortunately, we don't have anymore. Columbia broke up as it was coming back down to Earth from outer space, and Challenger broke up as it was launching. And unfortunately, we lost a total of 14 astronauts across those two space shuttles. Now, Discovery is still here. Discovery, if you want to go and see that one, it's at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum in Washington, DC. And then there's Atlantis. The Atlantis Space Shuttle is in Florida at NASA Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. And the last one is Endeavor. This is the one that I've seen. And it's at the California Science Center in Los Angeles. Now, my plan is to see all of the space shuttles, but so far, it's only been one endeavor. But there's an unofficial space shuttle, so there's a full-size model, one called Independence, at Space Center Houston in Texas, and I've seen that one. It wasn't built by NASA to test or to go to space or anything like that, but it's a full-size one that we can see how big is the space shuttle. And it's on top of a plane. Why? Well, to get the space shuttles in all those museums, they didn't launch into space and then land in the museum. They actually hitched a ride like a backpack or a piggyback ride on those planes, and then we flew them to the right cities, and then a truck brought them to the museums. So you can go out and you can check out Discovery, Atlantis, Enterprise, Endeavor, and if you want to, you can hit Independence as well. Now, on to trivia. So the answer to last week's question of which planet has the most moons, is D, Saturn. Saturn is the current moon champion with 82 moons. Now this week's question, what is the name of the space shuttle that was the last one to launch into outer space? Because we don't use the space shuttle anymore. Is it A, Atlantis, B, Columbia, C, Discovery, or E, D, Endeavor? We're gonna leave that in there. Tune in next week to get your answer, always be curious.